Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I will tell you how to create a form in Excel in a very easy manner. I'll show you an example. So I'm clicking here and I'm trying to enter this data using a form. So I go to this forms option and I click on form and automatically I have this data transferred into this form. If I want to make a new entry I'll make it from here. So I'll enter three serial in and I'll make a note for Mag Magneto, last name I'm not sure, age is say 78, gender is definitely male, address line is 1IO, address line 2 is PO, city is KGH, state is BAFS, anything, huh? then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you get the hang. And I click on new and you see this information is entered in this form automatically. I click on form again and if I want to find anything, I can find previous, say I'm getting Hulk, next Superman, next Magneto. And if I want to find any data, I can find on the basis of any of these fields. So, so if I need to find any data, I can simply find it from here, find previous, find next and based on criteria also. I can find, say I'm trying to find data for serial number three. So I'm trying, finding it. So I get to three, see? If I want to make any changes, I can make them here itself. And it gets updated. Now, how do we create it? I'll show you how. See, first of all, we have to create a custom tab and enter this form over there, all right? And that's very easy to do. You just need to go to file, go to options, all right, go to customize ribbon and from here click on new tab and automatically a new tab is created. You give it a name, right click it, rename it, say my data forms. Okay, I'm giving it a name and it has a group. You right click it, you rename it also. You can also give it an icon. I'm giving this icon data forms click ok and it is created all right now i click over here go to all commands from here i choose form all right here is form and i add it to this click ok and my tab is created see data forms and form now this is a new sheet you have your data here, ensure that you have your headers filled in correctly. Select your headers and in case you have some data entered also, you can select that. In case you, have, you don't have any data entered, it's okay. Select it, go to home, format it as table. Ensure that you keep this checked. My table has headers. Click okay and we are done. Now, just click anywhere in this table and go to your new tab. Click on form and your form is ready. You can use this to create new data sets. Isn't it easy? Extremely easy, right? Well, you can go to myelesson.org to download this file and many other such files over there. There are other videos also which you can view and you can download this file for free to practice it. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like icon. And if you have a question, please mention it in the comments and I will answer it for you. And please, please, please do go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that I'll be motivated with your subscription. So hope you like this video. Until the next video, this is your guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.